Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please remember to do so now. What we're going to be doing in this video is reviewing the brand new, just out in all the shops, Alexander McQueen Court Sneaker. And there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about on it. But firstly, what we're going to be doing is reviewing it. Firstly, you've got the upper is a really soft leather. So the old Alexander McQueen's, a lot of people sold them to us because they were really hard and they were uncomfortable. So with these ones, this isn't going to be a problem because the leather's really soft. If you move on to the lace set, very similar to the oversized sneaker. It's got a six hole lace set with straight laces going all the way across. You've got these holes on the inside and the outside of the shoe, just like on the oversized sneaker. If you move it to the back, you've got the suede tab with the Alexander McQueen branding on the back. But the suede tab is not the same as the Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker. It's the same as the Alexander McQueen oversized runner, if you've ever seen that shoe. It's just a bit squarer and a bit longer as well. If you move it onto the front of the tongue, you've got the Alexander McQueen branding on there in a silver foil as well. And then if you move on to the midsole, you've got this really creative two-tone midsole. So the back part is just like the oversized sneaker, but the front part is like a three-dimensional safari print. And then if you flip it onto the outsole, it's the 3D Safari print carried on all the way onto the outsole with Alexander McQueen branding, slap bang in the middle, just like the oversized sneaker. So the shoe itself, they're 360 pounds. Now I think this is a really strategic move from Alexander McQueen because the oversized sneaker recently has gone from 360 to 390 pounds. Alexander McQueen in the past have brought out variations of the oversized sneaker which have been more expensive so like your bubble sneaker for example they were 420 then 450 pounds and they haven't proved to be anywhere near as popular but they've brought these out at 360 pounds only a little bit, bit of time after that they boosted the price of the oversized sneakers up to 390 pounds so these coming out now are a lot more appealing because of the price than they would have been if they were more expensive than the one that's already out, the oversized sneaker. So what I'm thinking is these are trying to make a different shoe other than the oversized sneaker more popular. And by doing this, putting them at a really reasonable price point will do that. However, looking at these in person, I don't really like them. I'm not that into them. I think there's too much going on with this dual midsole. There's a few different layers on the upper. Unlike the Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker, it's just a real simple shoe and it just appeals to the majority of people. With this, I don't think it will do. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the court sneaker. Do you like it better than the oversized sneaker? Let me know which one you prefer. We'll be back really soon with another review. Remember to hit the like button, hit the share button. Remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.